Hey everyone, for today's speed paint I decided to continue my idea of the last video and draw another Steven Universe character. So I went ahead and drew Amethyst since, um, well I just really like her design and she's not my favourite character from the show but I just really wanted to experiment with the colours and that and see how it turned out. And as I mentioned in the last video I wasn't particularly happy with how I drew Steven so I thought I'd try and draw her in a different style this time, see if it would work out okay or not, and I think it turned out better than the last one in any case, better than the picture of Steven. So anyway, as you can see, I'm doing the sketch. One can't see it in this video, but I actually did numerous tries of different movements first, because the original drawing I did of her, just I just wasn't happy with it, even after finishing the sketch. And really you have to be happy with the sketch before you go on to the liner, otherwise you're not going to be happy with the picture at all. Um, so yeah, then I did like numerous little movement, little uh, sketches of different movements and this was the one I was most happy with so I decided to draw it more detailed and this is what it gave as a result. So yeah, now I'm on to the line art. But yeah, Amethyst is a pretty fun character to draw and I do really like the colours. So they were, that was fun. I think I used a different brush for this line art, a slightly softer brush and not on full opacity either to try and see if it would give it a bit of a softer edge. Still not completely happy with, with the result but I think it's a bit of an improvement to last time. But in any case I'm going to keep experimenting on the line art until I find something that works better. In any case the point of drawing is also to try and improve oneself and get better by learning and practicing. And I think I did I did slightly thinner line art for the hair as well. And at the moment I tend to do the line art of the hair on a different layer so that I can colorize it afterwards and make it lighter so that the hair just generally looks softer, which I think works out pretty well. And I'm drawing the whip. <laughs> this would took a bit of time. At first I was going to draw it freehand, but that didn't work out, so I went back onto GIMP and decided to draw it like this instead which was easier, definitely easier to do in the end. Changing the opacity a bit and then colouring the whole character in blue since I only, <laughs> it took me years of having a GIMP to realise this but there's actually a way of making it so you don't colour outside of the that you can colour in a, um, an area of the page and then if you lock the layer, I'm not sure what it's called exactly, you can actually prevent it from colouring outside of the coloured, the coloured areas. So I've been using that recently when drawing. And it's pretty useful. I still end up painting like every part individually though, I never actually use the, um, the paint bucket tool. Probably because I always leave some gaps in the line art anyway, so... It saves having to like pain, painfully search for each little um, gap in the line art so I can fill it in with the paint bucket tool. That and because the line art of the hair is on a different layer anyway, that wouldn't really work. Now onto the shade. <laughs> I actually decided to shade the hair first, though that's not normally what I do, but I guess I just felt like doing that this time. No particular reason why, just went straight ahead with the hair. Then again, she has such long hair that covers up most of her, to be honest, it's about the same length as her body, so I guess I just decided to start shading in the thing that was the most present this time. I was trying to go fairly quickly with this picture and like not rush or anything, but not end up with a 10 minute video or something even longer. Since I'm not exactly the quickest drawer, so tried to keep it from not being too long. I think I even modified a bit at the end that I forgot to record, so... <laughs> My drawings aren't that quick. But yeah, so I did relatively quick and simple shading, but I think it came out pretty effective. I did a different style um, to the picture of Steven Universe since I... Well, this time I did a kind of painted style for the shade. And I, I think... I forget what I did last time exactly, but... Um, it was more soft shade that I used for Steven, which looked okay, but didn't really. I wasn't really happy with the result of that. This I used the hard brush tool, but I kind of kept it on low opacity and painted it 
with the right colours, which I think look pretty nice, especially on her skin tone. Often when I shade, I try to add different colours in the shade as well, like for example, shading her grey tights, I try to add a little bit of purple reflecting off of her skin tone. It makes it look a little more varied and a little more, it's just more pleasing to look at really. It was a pretty subtle change anyway, but I think it ends up looking nice. I'm adding some quick shine on the gem. I don't draw gemstones often, so I wasn't entirely sure how to go about shading this, so I ended up just using, I ended up using um, the gem, or well, Amethyst's gem as a reference, and kind of doing it like that, but then adding extra shine and stuff. I end up making it glow a bit as well, since it looks kind of nice. Right here. I think they only glow when they actually take a weapon out, so I guess one can just assume that she just um, took her weapon. It's still glowing as a result. You could call that um, artist's liberty, I guess, to just um, make up little details that don't necessarily make sense, just to make it look nice. It's also, that's what I do in some sometimes, anyway. But yeah, this was a fun drawing, and I'm glad I drew Amethyst next, it was good practice. I'm not sure who I'll draw next time, if I draw another Steven Universe character. It'll probably either be Pearl or Garnet, so... Expect one of those characters, most likely. I'm not sure how far I end up going with drawing um, Steven Universe characters, but we'll see how it goes. They're just blowing the whip to make it look more like it's in movement. And that's about done. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and be sure to leave uh, your opinion in the comments and have a nice day.